On August 28, 2003, in the suburbs of Erie, Pennsylvania, a pizza delivery man named Brian Wells robbed a bank with a time bomb locked around his neck. He said a group of men accosted him and forced him to carry out the heist. After delivering the money, he would receive clues to help him disarm the bomb. It was one of the most diabolical bank robbery schemes in history. Hi guys welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will talk about the man, have time bomb of his neck and what are the reason why he is choosing the syndicate to do that. But before we continue, can I have a favor? Before the end of July can you help me to reach a 100 subscribers, or more than? I will very thankful, if you do that. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, and click a like button, and as I mention, I'll post every single day. So without further ado, let's get started. Brian Wells, originally named Brian Douglas Wells, was reportedly a pizza delivery man residing in Erie, Pennsylvania. He was born on November 15, 1956, to Rose Wells and Harold Wells in Warren, Pennsylvania. In 2003, when the terrible incident took place, Brian was 46 years old. On August 28, Wells was forced to go to Erie's PNC Bank to carry out a heist. He was instructed to get $250,000 within 15 minutes, however, he was only able to get $8,702. The pizza delivery man, who was reportedly a hostage in the deadly crime, left the PNC bank in a petrified state as if someone was controlling his every movement. Wells died from a terrifying collar bomb explosion. Brian Wells' life tragically ended when he was forced to take part in a PNC bank heist with a metal collar explosive around his neck. After Wells came out of the bank, a bank employee quickly called the police. When authorities arrived, Brian was found standing in a parking lot outside his car. As Wells was apprehended by the Erie police, the bomb detonated, making a hole in his chest area and killing Wells on the spot. Finding the people behind this bloody bank heist. Allegedly, a woman named Marjorie Deal Armstrong planned the entire crime. She conspired to rob the bank to get money so that she could pay a man named Kenneth Barnes to take the life of her own father. She provided kitchen timers that were utilized in the metal cooler explosive. The entire plan was executed under her supervision. William Ansel, Bill, Rothstein and Kenneth Barnes were also involved in the crime. The hair-raising case also involved two other individuals named William Ansel, Bill, Rothstein and Kenneth Barnes. From the 1960s to the early 1970s, Rothstein was in a romantic relationship with Marjorie Deal Armstrong. He was reportedly the putative creator of the collar bomb. Rothstein passed away on July 30, 2004, from non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Kenneth Barnes was reportedly a retired TV repairman, a drug dealer, and a friend of Deal Armstrong's, he was also a part of the pizza collar bomb case. He passed away in jail owing to diabetes on June 20, 2019. Marjorie Deal Armstrong was sentenced to life in prison for her sinister crimes. Marjorie was later convicted for her monstrous crimes, which included armed bank robbery, conspiracy to commit armed robbery, and the use of a deadly device. She was given a life imprisonment sentence by the jury, Marjorie passed away at the age of 68 on April 4, 2017, from breast cancer while she was in jail. I hope you like this video, and also subscribe to this channel. Also leave a comment for more. Have a great day, and see you in the next video.